Welcome to this video explaining displacement, velocity and acceleration. I'm Mr. John from explainingmaps.com and what does the question say? It says the graph shows how the velocity of a car changes during a short journey along a straight road. Find the distance traveled by the car and the acceleration on each stage of its journey. So indeed a velocity time graph and uh, you have three parts of the journey. You have this first part where you have a constant acceleration yeah, because the velocity it has a constant gradient here. Then you have a constant velocity, so no acceleration. And then you have a deceleration because the velocity is decreasing. Now first of all we're going to find the distance traveled. And how can you calculate the distance traveled if you are given a velocity time graph? That is by finding the area underneath uh, or between the graph and the x-axis. There we go. That's going to give you uh, the distance traveled in this case. Now there are two ways of doing it. I know a lot of students like to find the um, area of this triangle. So that's going to be 5 times 8 divided by 2. Then they plus that by the area of this rectangle which is 6 times 8. Um, and then they're going to plus that by the area of the last triangle which is 4 times 8 divided by 2. And that's going to give you the correct answer, so well done. However, I prefer to have a look at the trapezium in one go. So the area of a trapezium is the sum of the two parallel sides divided by 2 times the height, the perpendicular height. So I'm going to calculate that. So the sum of the two parallel sides, so 15, let me go, 15 plus 6, yeah, so be careful, it's 6 at the length there, it's 11 minus 5, so 6. So the sum of the two parallel sides divided by 2 and times that by the height 8. And if you do that properly, uh, you're going to get 84 meters as a distance traveled. Fantastic. Moving on to the second part of the question, because we have to uh, calculate the acceleration of each uh, stage. Let's do that in blue. So we have three stages, so the acceleration 1 equals acceleration 2 equals and acceleration 3 equals. So the first one, it goes from 0 to 8, the velocity and acceleration, how do you calculate that? It is the change in speed over the time taken. It's basically the gradient of your line. If you have a velocity time graph, the gradient is going to give you the acceleration. So dy over dx, so 8, the change in speed, 8 over the time taken, 5 so 8 over 5, and you can simplify that to 1.6 if you like, 1, 3 over 5, and the unit is meters per second squared. There we go. The acceleration for part 2 of the journey, now what is the gradient of a horizontal line? That is 0. It makes sense because the velocity is constant, so there's no acceleration because the velocity does not change. And the third part, the line is going down, so there is a negative acceleration or a deceleration if you like, the change in speed, so 8 over the time taken from 11 to 15, so 4 seconds. Uh, simplify that. Uh, what is that? Minus, well, that's not very difficult, is it? 8 divided by 4, minus 2 meters per second squared. I hope that was useful. Check my website, explainingmaths.com, for all my other free resources. And I would really appreciate it if you'd like and share it if it was useful. Take care. Bye-bye.